Hi guys, this is Nona Sai from Momo Hates You. A new hell event means shiny new suits. And this time around they came in a cumulative recharge format and boy has it been a controversial one. If you keep up with all the talk going around on very social media websites, then you already know why it's been such a hot button issue since the lineup was announced. I won't bore you with the details as this isn't that type of video, but I'll just say this. At the end of the day, this is a game, and it's meant to be enjoyed. Regardless of how you feel about the devs and how they handle the whole situation, if getting any of these suits makes you happy, don't deprive yourself. We charge as much or as little as you want. There's really no surprises about which suits were placed in the lower tiers and which suits were placed in the higher tiers. But nonetheless, let's take a look. First we have the Worldly View suits, 3 Mecho and Star Fantasy in the first couple of tiers. Followed by Void Listener and Moon Visitor in the middle to higher tiers. And lastly we have Nightmare Lullaby as the highest and final tier. One thing you might have noticed is that Moon Visitor has been broken into three separate recharge tiers. This is due to the fact that we haven't received a six suit. So watch out for that when you are recharging if you want this suit. I still haven't recharged myself so I'm going to go ahead and do that before we take a closer look at all of our gorgeous suits. Okay guys, so due to a mistake on my part, I had to hold on making the recharge until today rather than the first day of the hell event so we're starting a bit late but it's done and let's take a look at the suits so our first suit is the worldly view dream echo now this suit didn't get the warmest of welcomes into our server for a couple of reasons the first being that this is a replacement suit for Fox Lady, which was originally in the current lineup, and that didn't sit well with a lot of players, for a good reason. And secondly, we had the clipping issues. As you can see, that is no longer a problem, so don't worry about recharging and getting those issues because they have been fixed. And on top of receiving the original post dress with the code, we also received the post version without the code, so that to me makes it a little bit, a little bit more versatile. Our next suit is Star Fantasy. Star Fantasy is very colorful, very vibrant, with almost a kind of Harajuku neon witch style, but as cool as that is, that's not its biggest selling point. Its biggest selling point is the fact that it comes with two different colored skin poses. Now, just like Dream Echo, this World Debut suit comes with a couple of issues. One issue that players have reported is that the top doesn't layer well with all pieces. There's a couple of pieces like this one that are an exception, but as a general rule, the top layers on top of the bottom pieces. So that's something to look out for the moment. Another issue we have is the ground piece. Now, the ground piece, which is Fallen Moon, is unmovable, unscalable in both the Starry Corridor and Free Dressing. As of now, there is no fix and we're left stuck, literally stuck, with a piece that is immovable. So we can only hope and expect that the devs will fix it sooner rather than later. Our next suit is Void Listener or as the players have dubbed it, the Ruin Fairy. Just like Star Fantasy, this is a very particular suit, very pink, so you either love it or you hate it. Personally, I really like this suit and I'm glad that the issues I saw during the promo video aren't noticeable, but I saw a little problem with the hair layer during the video, but I'm happy that I don't see it here and I 
I don't see it in the post version of the suit, so that makes me happy. The only downside to this suit is, as you have noticed and many others have as well, is that the suit has been placed too far to the left and unless you're in starry corridor or in free dressing, you won't be able to see the full suit. Even with the imposed version, you can see how the wings don't fully show in the screen. So that's the only downside to me about this suit. Our next suit is Moon Visitor and it's been a highly anticipated one due to how intricate and beautiful it is just like all of the cloud suits. This suit comes with its own background so you can feel slightly better about splurging on this one. It wasn't quite certain if it was going to be a $50 suit or a $75 suit but guess what we were right it's a 50 60 and 70 ish dollar suit since it was broken into free recharge tiers if you read the lore of the pieces as you were claiming them then you know this is a goddess and as the goddess she is her post version is massive you can't appreciate it fully in the regular screen, so let's take a look in the view mode. Bear it with me just for a second while I scale the pieces. So this goddess comes with her, with her own right. As you would expect from a cloud suit, this is very ornate and very grand and most of all the colors are beautiful i love the blues i love the black and white and the pop of red this is a very pricey suit but there's no doubt it's a very high quality one our fifth and final suit is nightmare lullaby or as it's been called Dark Bobo. Being the highest tier and the priciest suit, of course you can expect it to come with its own background, as it should. And honestly, I love this suit. There is not a single thing that I don't love about this suit. Especially, and I know a lot of you are with me, especially the wings. These wings are amazing. The color is perfect, the detail, the detail is perfect, so everything is spot on for me. And I've been saving for this hell event for the past 3 months, so I'm very very happy that I got to purchase this suit. And we haven't even taken a look at the posed version, so let's go ahead and do that. As you, expect, as you would expect, the post version is very grand, so you'll we'll have to take a look in the view mode. Again, just bear it with me for a minute while I scale everything. There's so many pieces. Okay, let's see if I got it. Now, I don't really know which animal this is supposed to be, but together with a few members of our association, we've decided to call it a unifant because it looks like an elephant and a unicorn, which doesn't really matter, not what you're here for. So, let's try and take a look at all the pieces. The elephant goes away. And let's first and foremost take a look at 
the pose. She has a very very lovely pose which if you take a look in the wardrobe it comes with a second pair of wings that are tilted so you get two pairs of these awesome wings and she looks a little bit sleepy which makes sense since this is a dreams event now she's going to take a little bit of a back seat and we're going to take a look at her ride now the ride is amazing and it has this dark magical girl vibe which again I love so really everything about this suit is something that really speaks to me to my aesthetic in Love Nikki and we have this magic circle no not a magic circle but this sort of summoning circle nightmarish summoning circle and this cage which I'm assuming is where all the good dreams are locked away forever trapped in this nightmare that is our hell event and so this is the end of the recharge lineup but nightmare lullaby isn't the last suit of our video you might have noticed that no matter the amount you choose to recharge you will receive an extra suit bloom of youth as you can see this is a simple and cute cloud suit not only that but every single item of the suit is dialed now if there's an alternate version to this suit why would the devs not give us a second suit to die well our fellow players in the shiny server let us know that in their server this suit is alternating with winter angel as the reward for recharging the first time we don't know when this is being implemented in our server but receiving the suit might be an indication that it will happen somewhere down the line and with that we've reached the end of our video if you had your heart set on any of the recharge suits before you watch this video don't let any of the layer issues we've talked about dissuade you from getting the suits you want because i'm sure these issues will be fixed in the near future as always if you like this video if you found it useful drop a like and subscribe if you'd like to see any of the upcoming videos from momo hates you i will see you next time